There I was, up in my room, just like every other night, counting taillights on the highway. Soon the cars below would reach the city, but me, I'd still be here, stuck in sleepy suburbia. Or so I thought. But sometimes extraordinary things will happen if you just let them. Welcome to suburbia, just outside the city, sometime in 1980X. What you see around here used to be all that I cared for, because it was all that I knew. It was here that I'd met my first friends, rode my first bike, found my first love, and found out that nothing lasts forever. This is the place I grew up in and grew out of. A place I loved and hated. I remember walking around these blocks for hours, just waiting for something to happen. I knew I needed to move forward. But every day felt like I was on a road to nowhere. The same office buildings and cheap restaurants, the grocery store, the laundromat, and the video rental place where dad used to take me on the weekends. He'd be looking for classics while I was more into superheroes. Oh man, we could go on forever. But then, we didn't go there anymore. It was no big deal. These days, I guess I was just looking for anything that could make my heart skip a beat again. And that was when I found it. The factory was built long before I was born, but had been shut down and abandoned for as long as I could remember. Mom used to tell me to stay away from there, but there was something down that pitch black alley that caught my eye. It took all the guts I had to go down the stairs. The basement air was thick with cigarette smoke and 10,000 volts of energy. And in the midst of this electric haze stood an army of high-tech creatures, their huge crystal clear screens flashing before my eyes. I had seen video games before, Dad even brought home one black and white model when I was really young. But this was something else. Something you could not take home with you. And this place was definitely no hangout for children. 
In front of these machines stood some of the coolest, uncool people I had ever seen. There were the freaks, the geeks, the misfits, the outcasts, the real rebels, part of something the outside world could not understand or even knew existed. These guys were all playing trance-like, totally absorbed, as if they experienced something from another dimension. Maybe I could be one of them. It wouldn't be fair to say I didn't do my best in school. At least for a while, I really tried to make it work. But now, walking those hallways with all those people, I wasn't really there. I was on an asteroid somewhere fighting space invaders. But then there was her. This punk rocker from the Southern District. She was the wildest thing I'd ever seen. Oh man, that girl was born a rebel free to go wherever she wanted to. Free in a way I could still only dream of. I started hanging out in the arcade almost every night. Standing there beside the other players, watching every move their fingers made. This was the real thing. Another life was just one credit away. Down here, I found new worlds and new meaning. I could be whoever I wanted to be. Travel to outer space, experience fantasy and fear, or just take a walk on the wild side of town. But nothing could beat the rush of the highway. The speeding cars reminding me that there was a way out, a road to somewhere. The city on the horizon. I'd drive all night to get to that place. just about the escape. It was about transformation. For every visit I made, every game I uncovered, every move I mastered, I felt stronger, more confident. 
Some guy said I was nothing but a dreamer, completely out of touch with reality. But I don't know. Down here, I was free. I was in control. No one told me where to go or what to do. The only bad part about it was having to come back up to the real world. Back when we were kids, life was so much easier. You could go from bug collector in the morning to bank robber before bedtime. Anything was possible. Then came high school and everyone got brainwashed. People started seeing you the way they wanted to see you. Be the brain, be the clown, be the troublemaker, be popular. People would define you in the most convenient way. And then, that's who you are. say that when you grow up, something inside you dies. I'm still not sure if that's good or bad. When you're a child, shadows seem darker and lights seem brighter. Everything is more terrifying and more exciting at the same time. I used to love the weekends. Watching cartoons on early morning TV without a care in the world. The whole family together, free to do whatever we wanted to. Going for long rides in our car, me falling asleep in the back seat, and getting carried to bed when we got home. Then this thing with Dad happened. And now, I wasn't sure our family would ever be able to put the pieces back together. Being home alone with Mom, watching her too fall apart. I couldn't stand it. I had to go somewhere. 
anywhere. I just had to get out. I used to fantasize about the city, vaguely planning my escape, but never actually getting on the train. Instead, I kept hanging around at the video store, seeking comfort and made up stories where I could pretend I was someone else. Mom would always tell me to quit dreaming and get back into the real world. I couldn't care less. That night at the arcade, everything changed. What happened that night, I honestly couldn't say. I was still there, but nothing was the same. It was just beginning. <laughs> 